हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे ट्वेंटी ऑफ हॉट समर सीरीज एंड आई एम श्योर यू हैव बीन एंजॉइंग दिस सीरीज दस पार सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर लॉजिकल डीआई सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू द डीआईआर सेक्शन ऑफ कैट इट इज क्वाइट अ मिक्स ऑफ बोथ लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एज एज वेल एज डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड इन सेवरल केसेस द काइंड ऑफ डी दैट यू गेट इट इज नॉट जस्ट सिंपल कैलकुलेशन but application of some logic also so we shall be taking these kind of sets in this class so if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media platforms so we are on 22nd of june and uh, eight more days to go so i'm sure that if you watch the entire series that will definitely boost your preparation Uh, as to how to solve different kind of problems in the examination in case you are interested in our enrolling in our cat batch you can do so by uh, going to the link given in the description and uh, in case you were looking for some fresh batch and you are already prepared for it so in september we shall launch a crash course okay so do subscribe to our channel and uh, like we will be launching a crash course in september so this will be meant for those students who have already covered the basics and uh, just wanted for a revision purpose so uh, if you are a part of our youtube channel you will get notification for the same join our telegram group so all in all our communication media we shall be notifying about it so if at all you are interested in it so please wait for september so please uh, watch uh, the solution only if you have already solved the set okay so uh, i'll when i launch to the next slide we will be having the questions uh, pause the video solve the set on your own and if you are unable to solve it then only look at the solution of the video okay and uh, even if you are able to solve look at the solution to see how to solve it in an optimum manner so let's begin with the first set okay so in it says that in a dance competition there were 10 contestants and 3 judges each judge rated each of the contestants on a rating 1 to 10 the table given below gives partial information about the points received by the participants from the judges all the candidates got less than 25 points okay so all got less than 25 so we know the total for these so these two have to be less than 25 that is given to us and these are the points given many values are missing in the table and here we are given points given to contestants so basically like mansi let's say if this is blue is mansi mansi gave 1.2 to two candidates she gave 4.1 to one candidate 5.1 to one candidate similarly yogesh gave 6 points to three candidates okay so the data is given in two formats we have to complete the table by <coughs> finding how many points were given to each of these candidates by these people and then answer these questions okay so in such kind of scenarios we should try to fill data which can be directly filled the data which is maximum filled okay so first step should be it is 3 6 and this will be 3 so this is some data which we can directly fill right all right now the next step is if you see you, we need to see both horizontally as well as vertically so since it's a table and you need to see horizontal as well as vertical nature so if you look at yogesh we are given most of the values 1 2 3 4 values are missing with us now how to map these four values so yogesh five points are given so we will cut one five okay eight points are given so we will cut this eight so yogesh now cannot give eight points to anyone three points so this three is cut off six so this six is cut off one one goes away and then three so another three is cut off so yogesh can give either two points or six points each right so two possibilities of six points and one of two points so these are the points that are missing and uh, one is five points also right so that is one thing that we need to uh, think of right second thing is like similarly we will do the same activity for 
others also omkar uh, this uh, two points by garima so we will cut off this two for garima 693 6 9 and 3 so this these points are cut off similarly 8 and 6 for mansi so 1 8 and 1 6 for mansi that is taken away so this is the now we cannot assign these points so the remaining are pending now yogesh uh, if we look at any other condition no such other condition is given to us right now uh, if you look at uh, this person right taresh taresh is basically getting now we should look for extreme cases extreme means very high values or very low values so if you look at omkar omkar has to get a total of 7 points from two people okay this person should get 14 points which is a very high value remaining this is 12 Okay, so 14 is a high value, 12 is a high value, 7 is a very low value. Okay, so if we talk about these three people, so if you look at 12 points, Taresh or uh, 14 points first, Harsh got 14 points from Yogesh and Mansi. So Gray plus two. Okay, Yogesh is left with six or five points. Okay, now if Yogesh is like, if we take this case, total we have to assign 14 points. Okay, 14 points means they should try to give high high points so yogesh can give 5 6 or 2 points but if yogesh gives 2 it is 12 which is not possible the rating is 1 to 10 okay so one possibility is yogesh giving 5 points and mansi giving 9 points this 5 is available for yogesh and 9 is available for mansi another possibility could be yogesh 6 and mansi 8 okay so two possibilities we'll keep these possibilities as of now because there are just two of them now taresh if you look at taresh has to be assigned 12 points okay <clears throat> so again we cannot have yogesh 2 because 10 no one is giving 10 points so if we give 5 to yogesh there should be 7 for mansi right and if we give 6 to yogesh there has to be 6 by mansi but 6 by mansi is already cut right mansi cannot give 6 points because this is cut because mansi has given 6 points here so we get a series like 5 and 7 points okay so 5 and 7 done this completes so we will cut 5 for yogesh and 7 for mansi okay one of the 7 is cut off right now here yogesh cannot give 5 because for yogesh the 5 points are already distributed so yogesh will give 6 and mansi will give 8 points to this person <coughs> so mansi 8 and yogesh 6 Now Yogesh has to give six points to one of the persons and one point, uh, two points to one of the persons. Okay. Now uh, this is seven, so this could be six plus one. Mansi giving one point, quite possible. If Yogesh gives two, so two plus two, four plus five. Does Mansi give five point? That is also possible. Okay. So we'll keep this on hold as of now, and uh, we'll come back to it later. Okay. Now, similarly, we will do the same activity for others. We will find out how many points are to be allotted and uh, fill in the values. Now, if you look at the other missing people, other missing people means these people. Two of the values are missing. Two of the values are missing. So these missing values add to seven. these missing values add to 6 these missing values add to 9 right try to start with the lowest value possible so 6 is the lowest so ayushi should get 6 from garima plus mansi okay now 6 how can it be obtained it can be 1 plus 5 2 plus 4 3 plus 3 okay garima and mansi see garima is not giving uh, like 3 3 is not possible because 3 points are already distributed right now if we look at garima plus mansi 2 and 4 so if or 1 5 so one garima does not give mansi gives one point right mansi is giving one point here so mansi is giving one so garima should give five but we do not have five for garima so one five is also not possible so it has to be 2 plus 4 okay now mansi cannot give two points 
okay so garima should give two points and mansi should give four points okay garima two and mansi four so garima two points is done mansi four points is done so now we cannot allot these points also now we come to farhad getting seven points okay seven points could be 1 6 2 5 and 3 4 right now if you look at garima right garima cannot allot see this is i think this one is cut the this one is still valid okay so so garima cannot allot garima can allot 4 okay but if garima allots 4 then mansi should allot 3 but mansi is not available for three points so that is not possible okay garima cannot give uh, garima is the green, uh, orange one she cannot give 1 2 3 she cannot give 4 because in that case mansi should get three points not possible five garima can only give six points so this is garima and this is mansi okay so six points by garima and one point by mansi okay so this uh, garima 6 and mansi 1 so mansi has to assign one more point here right so now probably we can look at this scene and fill omkar yogesh and mansi 1 and 5 okay omkar uh, mansi is one point available yes still available five point is still available so we cannot fill as of now now let's look at this case reeta should get nine points from garima plus mansi okay so uh, <clears throat> 9 means 1 8 2 7 3 right garima plus mansi so garima if we see garima does not have one points two points one possibility is garima has four points okay garima four mansi five mansi has a five vacant here Okay, then we can have Garima is not having five points. Garima does not have six points. Seven and two. Okay, Garima seven and Mansi two. Right, but Mansi has two points available. No, so Garima seven is also not possible. Then Garima can have eight points and Mansi can have one points. Okay, so that is also one possibility. Okay, Garima Mansi. Eight and uh, sorry, total uh, is nine. Yes, so we can have Garima giving four or eight points. So accordingly, it will be five or five or one point by Mansi. Okay, so Garima has uh, Mansi has one of the five pointer missing and one of the one pointers missing, and these are allotted in these two cases. Right now. garima has to give uh, and yogesh has to give two or six points in this case so uh, this uh, yogesh has to give six or two similarly six or two now we will uh, try to put that extreme case because if we give two points by yogesh here we have to give 13 points in the other two scenarios like if you give two points here we have to assign 13 points which is a high number and for high numbers it is easy to get those totals okay so we will start with this thing that if two points are given we should give 13 as a total okay and if six points are given nine will be the total so now garima 1 and 5 are booked okay that is in one case it is one point another case five points so we will only look at the missing values for garima that is seven and uh, sorry for mansi seven and nine are remaining seven and nine have not been allotted right so it has to be seven or nine now if we give uh, suppose we take six points here Okay, suppose we take six points, we cannot give nine points here because, like, it has to be total fifteen. So we cannot give six and nine. If we give six and seven, it has to come as two. But 
garima is not distributing two points anymore right she has already distributed the two points two times so we cannot put six here so it has to be two and this has to be six if this is six then it is one if this is one this is five if this is five this is four okay so now we will cut off for omkar as well as uh, rita again yeah, omkar is getting two six one two from garima so uh, this is done six from uh, six from yogesh that is already done and one from mansi so mansi one is cut and similarly 415 so four from garima one from yogesh and five from mansi okay yogesh one was cut and five from mansi so mansi these five points are also cut okay so now mansi seven and nine are pending right now it is seven or nine are pending and uh, it is 7 or 9 okay if we give 9 here then it means we have to give 4 from garima okay so 4 uh, from garima is garima having 4 points yes it is possible okay if we give 7 here then we have to give 6 by garima but garima does not have 6 points to distribute which is already done so it will be 4 2 9 4 2 9 so 4 from garima should be cut and 9 from mansi should be cut okay so now only one of the values remain for all these so uh, if we look at mansi the seven points are pending so this is seven okay and then we have two values remaining for garima which is one is six points and another is i guess two points no this is this was yogesh so yogesh has cut off for garima we have nine point as well as seven points okay that is which is remaining here right so nine and seven have to be distributed so if we put in nine here that becomes 25 we are given that each of the candidates got less than 25 so that means we cannot put nine here we will put 7 here and 9 here so this is how we will be assigning all these points okay so this if we assign these points so we can just add these total so we are done with all the values we have put in all the values and then we can one could have drawn a table and knocked off these numbers okay instead of doing it in the graph because in tables it is easy to like it you are less likely to make errors if you see the numbers written over there Okay, you could have drawn a table like one, 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 and then let's say one, one for Garima, and then let's say four, four, two times, six, 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 three times, and then cut. So that would have been a better way to solve. Okay, so this uh, completes the total, and uh, this is twelve plus seven, nineteen. What is the maximum score of a candidate? So maximum score will turn out to be twenty-three. how many points did charles get so charles got a total of 19 points how many contestant received the same points from at least two judges so same points from at least two judges this is same points from two judges and uh, we have same points from two judges same points from two judges so we have uh, three such people getting same points from two of the judges okay so we have three people and how many contestants received less than 8 points from each of the judges so we have farhad receiving less than 8 from each of the judges omkar okay then we have uh, ayushi reeta and sukhi so we have 1 2 3 4 5 people getting less than 8 from each of the judges so this was this set Let's look at the next set. It is comparatively easy, but it requires you uh, to have a good thinking. It says Hitesh asked his students how many marks they scored in the recent mock CAT. Each of the eight students, uh, they told him the sum of the marks of the remaining seven students. The responses of these students are given in the bar graph, and we we are not given that 
who responded in what manner. So we do not know who are these people whose responses are given to us. Now what did these people do is, they responded with the total of other 7 people. Okay. So let us say there are 8 people A to H. Okay. So we can say that this person gives response plus let us say this is A. Okay. So A will respond B, C and so on till G. If this is B, he will respond A, B, C. Uh, so he will not respond B. A, C, D and so on till uh, there are 8 students right. So H, B to H. So it is 2 H. So like this if this is H he will respond A plus B plus and so on till G. Okay. So like this they have responded. So let us look at a simpler equation and then we will do the thing for the larger one. So understand that simple equation suppose there are 4 people. So person A will say A plus B plus C, second person will say A plus uh, B plus D, third person will miss B and say A plus C plus D and the fourth person would have given B plus C plus D. Okay? So when we add this we get 3 times of A, 3 times of B, 3 times of C and 3 times of D. So we would have got 3 times of A plus B plus C plus D as the grand total. Okay? Similarly, if you take uh, like 3 people, so first person would give A plus B, second person would give B plus C, third person would give C plus A. So we would have got 2 times of A plus B plus C. So by this logic, since I am not writing for all 8, it would take time to write for all 8. This is the logic that you need to instantly think of. So there are 8 people, so if there are 4 people, we are getting 3 times. 2 people, 3 people we are getting 2 times. So if there are 8 people we will get 7 times of sum. Sum is A to H ka total. That is equal to sum of all these numbers. Right? I hope you got this logic. So if there were 4 people A, B, C, D, we were getting 3 times the sum of the numbers. When there were 3 people, we were getting 2 times the sum of the numbers. If there are 8 people, we will get the 7 times the sum of the numbers. Okay? Now, if you have to add all these numbers, okay, so I will tell you a very simple way to add all numbers. Do not add three digit numbers. See, all numbers are in 800. Okay, so very smart way to add the numbers. So ignore 800, you need to add 21, 46, 3, 30, 37, 14, 32 and 25. So 21, 46 is 67, 70, 100, 137, 151, 151 plus 57 is... Uh, 208 right and these are 8 values so 6400 6400 plus 208 so we will get 6608 right? that is 7 times the sum of these numbers so what is the sum of these numbers 6608 by 7 7 9s are 63 3 0 30 4 times uh, that is 28 2 remains 20 so sum is 944 so the total value is 944, right? Now what we will do? Now suppose we have to find this value. So 821 is the sum of the remaining values. So minus 821 you can do. So we can get the values like this is 123. This will be 98. Okay, subtract from 944. So this will be 141, okay, 114, 107, 130, 112, and 11. So these are the values that we get. Okay, so we will get these values. So you can just check that if all the values are uh, adding to like so these are the values they should add to 944. So again we can do it by uh, taking numbers uh, near to 100. So 23 minus to 21. Uh, then we have 62, 76, 83 and 83 113 plus 31 144 so and 100 944 so the total matches okay so this is how we will do it so first thing is understanding this part and also using the smart way to calculate the numbers so once you have calculated the numbers we can answer these questions what is the difference between the maximum and minimum scores of these students okay so maximum score is how much Maximum score is for the lowest graph that is 141 and minimum is 98. 
so the difference is 43 now this could have been answered without even calculating these values right so understand that if a person is reporting the least total right so this person must have scored the highest and if, if this person is scoring the let's say the sum is s right so this person must have scored the highest because this person reported the uh, sorry this person uh, is the lowest because he reported the highest sum so if the sum of all other people is highest that means that person itself is scoring the lowest and vice versa okay so this sum minus 846 right this is the low least score and the highest score is sum minus 803 so if you take the difference you will get 43 okay that's how you can get it so you did not need to calculate all these values for it but we have calculated for subsequent questions if adam is the only person whose score is between 120 and 130 how many marks did he score so between 120 to 130 we have one score which is 1 2 3 how many students scored more than 100 marks so if we see seven of these students have scored more than 100 only one student has scored less than 100 right okay next question says if the score of isha is the average of changes and manu and the score of manu is the average score of Simmi and Edwin. Okay. <clears throat> Isha is the average of Changes and Manu. So two numbers should have an average. So basically the difference should be constant. Like that's that's what it means. So 123 if you take uh, 123 with 98, 25 per difference. Uh, 123 with 141, 18 difference. And we do not have 105. Uh, 9 difference and 9 difference. 16 difference 7 123 with 30 7 difference 11 difference 4 difference so 123 is no, not such number okay then 98 if we see 98 plus so one of the values is 98 114 and 130 see we did see a difference of 16 one of one of that pair is 98 114 130 right and uh, manu is involved in one of those right so isha is average of changes and manu and manu is the average of simi and edwin so manu has to be one of those uh, now if manu is 130 then we can have 119 and 141 that is also one pair okay so there is another pair which is 119 130 and 141 so these are the the scores of these people right so isha is average of changes and manu and score of manu is average of simi and edwin so that means this one is manu so isha is score of uh, isha has the average score right so this is changes and this is isha right and manu is the average score of simi and edwin so simi and edwin we can't determine so the question is who scored the highest marks on the test so it is simi or edwin we cannot determine so this should be cannot be determined Okay, so if the question were who is the least scorer, then we could determine. So Manu is the average score of Simi and Edwin. Isha is the average of Changes and Manu, and Manu is the score of average of. So we cannot determine the <coughs> the highest. We can tell the least, right? If it was least, so we can say that Changes is the least. But highest can be Simi or Edwin. We cannot determine. So, my bad. The options are not correct here. Right? It is cannot be determined. Difference between the marks of Edwin and Simi. So, Edwin and Simi, uh, this is the values. Like Edwin and Simi are 119 and 141. So, the difference is 22. That we can determine. Okay? But we cannot determine the highest scorer out of these people. Okay, but we can determine the least score. So the question should have been ideally who is the least marks and Changes would have been the answer in that case or in this case the answer should be cannot be determined. 
so this was another set based on logical di so i hope you are enjoying this session thus far and don't forget to like this video and watch this entire series that will help you build a good understanding for cat concepts before we proceed proceed please do like this video and share it with your friends let's now move on to the next set it was asked uh, it's a past year question from zat and if you have solved it great if you have not solved it you are going to solve an interesting a beautiful set so this graph depicts sector wise percentage contributions to the gdp of nine nations labeled a b c d and so on up to i it is known that these nations are brazil china france germany so these are the nine nations now these are disguised right we do not know which nation is which one okay now some facts are given to us that china has the highest agriculture sector gdp valued at 1 trillion followed by the us and india in terms of percentage contribution uh, uh, followed by the us and india in terms of percentage contribution to respective nations gdps by the service sectors uk and france are respectively the first and the second and abg have the same gdp gdp of india's industry sector is lower than the gdp of russia's industry sector however it is larger than that of brazil's industry sector so these are the pieces of information which are given to us right so we are given these countries brazil china france germany okay india japan russia uk and us okay so these are the countries that are given to us and some information is given to us which we can process directly right so uh, let's see the first uh, piece of information it says that china gave 1 trillion to agriculture right now these is, are in trillion so trillion means 1000 billion okay so 1000 billion now uh, if china has now at stake that 1 trillion means 1000 billion so uh, like we can use the table and find out so agriculture is the orange one so if you look at agriculture it is either 17% 5% 5% you need 20 billion but uh, 20 trillion 20 trillion is not present anywhere okay 3 1 10 so by this table we can say 10% of 10 right so china has 10 so obviously it has to be 10% so china is f so we have mapped one of the countries that is china that is f okay so this is done now it says that uh, followed by us and india okay so india and us are the next two but we cannot find the values right from merely because there are multiple possibilities so let us look for some other cases maybe use it as an elimination possibility so in terms of percentage contribution to respective nations gdps by the service sectors uk and france are first and second so services is the yellow one so highest if you see that is of 79% okay and uh, second highest is 78 so first is uk so d is uk and we have h as france okay so these are done now it says nation a b and g have the same gdp so a b and g have the same gdp and these three have the same gdp now if you look at the gdps one is brazil another is india and russia so these three are having the same gdp so they are among a b and g Now there is one more condition which says that the gdp of india's industry is lower than the gdp of russia's industry and it is larger than that of brazil's industry sector now this becomes easy because that gdp is same so we can find india is less than russia and india is more than brazil okay so we need to find the industry sector so a b g so highest should be of russia so this is russia b is russia is b okay then we have this should be india so a is india and g is your 
Brazil. Okay, so this is also done, right? Now we are left with three countries. One is nation C, E, and I. Right? C, E, I. Now we will use the first statement which says that China has the highest agriculture GDP that is 1 trillion. So this is China is 1 trillion that is done or uh, you can say 1000 uh, billion. Then second is US and then India. So India if you see India has 2 trillion and 17 percent. So India already has 340 that is a fixed number. Okay. So US should have more than 340. Okay, agriculture. Uh, this agriculture should be more than 340 for US. Okay. Now, if you take these three values, C, E, I, right? These are the three values remaining. If you see C, so this will give us uh, like 510. If you take E, that would be 850. If you take I, that will be 170. Okay. So, US is, has to have greater than 340. So, US cannot be I. You can, US has to be C or E. Now, no, much, no other information is provided to us. This is the only pieces of information that we have. Okay. So, this means the remaining could be C, E, I. But, US cannot be I. It has to be C, E, C or E. So that's all we can figure out for these countries. Okay. So now let us look at the questions and answer them. The first question is based on the given information, how many nations can uniquely be identified? So except three nations, you can identify the remaining six nations. So the answer is six. Which country is disguised as nation B? So we have Russia as nation B. I can see from the table. Based on the given information, which of the following cannot be ruled out? Cannot be ruled out means uh, that is not false. Okay, so that can be true also. So if you look at the first one, it says that uh, it says Russia is nation G. Okay, so Russia is nation G that can be ruled out because that is false. Right? Japan is nation E. We cannot rule this out because Japan can be nation E. US is nation I that is ruled out because it is C or e. Similarly, the last says India is nation B that we already know that India is A. <clears throat> so all others will be ruled out. Option B cannot be ruled out. This is, this can be what can be the maximum contribution by Japan to its industry sector? So Japan is either C, E or I and industry sector is the green one. So let us see C, E and I that uh, what is the proportion. So C is 25%, E is 20% uh, and I is 30%. So we will choose this. So 30% of Japan the economy is 5 trillion so 5000 ka 30 percent ok so that is 1500 billion so the answer is 1500 billion ok so we get 30 percent of 5 trillion that is the highest to industry Okay, so that was uh, an interesting set from ZAT and now we are going to attempt another set that is that gives us a table, read the information and then we will look at the solution of this set. So this set says that there are five departments in a company. The table gives the ratio of male and female employees and the ratio of employees who come by office care and those who come on their own so that is these are the couple of ratios which are given to us okay now in ratio we know that like uh, the number since these are people so they have to be integers we cannot have non integer we cannot have 4.5 people okay so they have to be integers and they should be a multiple of some of these like male ratio so suppose there are 9x male and 5y 5x female so total people will be 14x okay 
So we are writing 14 sum of ratios. Now, if you look at cab versus own, this is 5 ratio 2. Now, this is a separate ratio, so we will not take 9 and 5, we will take let us say 5y and 2y. So, total people are 7y. So, total ratio is 7, 4, 5, 5 and 5, right. Now, if we get this, see male ratio female, cab ratio own, that gives the total number of people. Now, we are getting 14 here, we are getting 7 here. <coughs> so, it means the total number should be a multiple of 7 as well as 14. Okay, it should be a multiple of both these numbers. Now, the number can be anything, like it can be 14, it can be 28, it can be 42, anything. So, we cannot find the exact number. Okay. So, if you see this question, it says that cannot be the total number and we basically have to find minimum to maximum right uh, sorry minimum maximum we cannot find out so minimum number of people will be lcm of these two numbers so minimum there are 14 employees in finance okay so 7 into 4 28 this is 65 then we have 35 and then we have five employees in this operations now it is not necessary that you will have these many employees you will you can have many more but this is the minimum number that should be there for all these values to be integers okay so now let's uh, look at the questions and try to answer them right so if you look at this first one okay uh, this is 100 140 to 147 so minimum number of employees in the company is 147 okay the question asks which of the following cannot be the total number of employees it is an interesting question. Now, you might be thinking that how can we get <coughs> these numbers. So, 147 is minimum. Now, if you add 15, you can make it 162. How can I add 15? I can add 5 into 3 because this number can be 20. See, this is a multiple of 5. You can add 20. I can make it 20. That means increase of 15. If you add it 42, this is 120. Okay, 162 that is possible. So, this is a possibility. So, we can make it 20. So, this is possible. 166, we need to increase 19. Okay. We can increase this by 5 and this by 14. We have to increase 19 employees. So, we can have it operations 10 employees and in finance, we can have 28 employees. Right. So, that also make it 166. 175, we need to increase by 28. <coughs> so, we can simply increase this by 28 or we can increase this also by 28. So, instead of 14, if we have 42 employees, we can increase by 28. So, this is also possible. 178. 178 means we need to increase by 31. Okay. So, let us see if we can make a total of 31 out of these numbers. So, if we make it, let us say 15 and 14, we can go up to 29. We cannot make 31. If we take 28 and 5, we can make 33. <coughs> so, we cannot make 31 using any of these combinations of these numbers and their multiples. So, we cannot have 178 employees in the company. Okay, so, that is the answer to this question. Next question says, if each department has the minimum possible number of employees, which is presented here, then the maximum value of the number of women in any of these 5 departments is. Sorry. <clears throat> so, we need to find the maximum number of women. So, obviously, we are uh, inclined to this value because already the number of employees is very high. So, 7 ratio 6. So, there will be 30 women employees in this. And uh, other values are much lesser. Okay? So, we can have maximum number of women as 30 in your IT department. If there are 186 employees in the company, how many men work in the operations department? Okay. So, now we have to make 186 employees. Now you might be wondering that how to get this 186. Like we did in the very first question, we have to make the total 186. right? So, minimum is 147. <coughs> in order to make 186, we need to add 39 employees. Okay. Now, how can we add 39 employees? If you see 
35 is definitely out of picture to make it 39 right we cannot add here if we add to this 28 plus 10 we can make it right 5 5 10 so we cannot use this so we have to use this and this to add 39 employees okay so we can add it 20, 14 plus 25 14 employees in this department and 25 employees in this department okay so if you are still confused let us make these values okay so if you add 14 it will become 28 and if you add 25 it will become 30 and if you add these values 25 28 65 35 okay 100 130 plus 56 186 so this is how we can make the total as 186 and the question is asking how many men work in the operations department so anyway we had to know that if it is asking about operations you have to check whether we can increase in the operations department now it says operations department has 3 ratio 2 okay, and 30 so 33 out of 5 of 30 which is 18 employees in the 18 male employees in the operations department we can determine this value. Now the next question says if each department of the company has an equal number of employees then which department has the highest number of employees coming by cap. Now some people would be calculating the equal number of employees in this right but you are not supposed to calculate equal number of employees because equal number of employees would mean that you take LCM of all these values. Okay, abhi tak iska LCM tha, inka LCM ke, you will get the equal number of employees but that is not the need. What is needed here is it is saying that highest number of employees coming by cap. So all of them have equal number of employees. So highest coming by cap will be highest cap to own ratio. Cap to own should be highest. If that is the highest, no matter if there are 100 employees, there are 1000 employees, 500 employees, 700 employees, it does not matter. So whichever has the highest because number of employees in each of the five departments is same. So is as long as the ratio is the highest, we will get the highest number of employees coming by cap. So if you see 5 by 7 is 71 percent, 3 by 4 is 75 percent, this is 60 percent, 40 percent and 20 percent. So this is highest, clearly the highest, 3 ratio 1. So the answer is HR department. Okay. Last question is in each if each department has an equal number of employees so same question as above let us see then the minimum number of men who come by own transport in any one of these five departments is so we need to find the minimum number of men coming by own departments okay so what we will do is we will have to basically find that uh, minimum number this time using the LCM and then uh, possibly answer this because here like in the previous question like we had to find the ratio of the highest okay so but in this case like we have to <coughs> find this total number and then only we could possibly answer this question but let us see one thing uh, can we answer without finding the like this is a tricky question right of course it requires uh, like a lot of calculation but let us see that if we can answer it because there is a special case we can think of so if we see like we need to give minimum number of men come by own transport okay so if you have to minimize minimum can be zero isn't it we have to think through the table because one thing is you will be calculating HCF and then finding LCM and finding the values and then answering it. Instead of that, let us think that can we get zero. <coughs> See, wherever we have maximum minimum question and we are dealing in integers, minimum integer can be zero. So let us think of that scenario. Can there be zero men who come by their own transport in any of the five departments? Okay. <coughs> so how will we get this? If we can get that. Uh, let us say, let us understand through this example, forget equal number of employees, okay. 
let's take this uh, number and uh, we need to take minimum by own transport okay so minimum by own transport means uh, all should go by cab that is that clear like if all go by cab minimum will go by their own transport so we need to try to see that if can that can be zero so let's do that thing that activity in this question so we will find how many male employees are there and how many people are going by cab so if there are 14 employees there are 9 male and 10 people are going by cab okay now if all these male go by cab so we have 9 male employees and there are 10 employees that go by cab so if all 9 males go by cab no male will go by own transport so we can get the value as 0 so probably in some other also we can see like 28 employees so this is 8 uh, 8 employees and 21 employees by cab so if all these 8 men go by cab Okay, there are 8 male employees and 21 employees go by cab. So, suppose all these 8 male employees go by cab, that means no male employee goes by own transport. Okay, so, again, there were two questions that required you to calculate the LCM of these, but we evaded both these questions logically because in the first case, we know that ratio is going to play a factor. Second case, we knew that if we can make the minimum that as 0 and if that is possible, why to do this? unnecessary calculations so this was the solution to this interesting set that involved uh, use of ratios <coughs> well i hope you are enjoying this session and uh, must have found these sets quite interesting do let me know in the end that how many questions were you able to solve on your own kitne set up uh, uh, correct kar pai. that is going to be a uh, beneficial thing to you all right so now let's look at the next set it is uh, uh, a data heavy set uh, it says that there are 10 students they took a test that contained 20 questions each correct answer fetched three marks and each wrong answer attracted a penalty of one mark a question left unattempted did not result in any marks the following graph shows the scores obtained by each one of the these 10 students and uh, the values are given to us Okay. And there is some more information that out of these students, 5 were boys and the sum of their scores was 198. The difference between the lowest and the highest scores obtained by boys was equal to the difference between the lowest and highest scores obtained by girls. No two boys as well as no two girls scored the same number of marks. Okay. So let us use this piece of information. So, if there are two people who are getting same marks, they have to be of different genders. Like for example, if you look at the graph, this person, okay, so the graph is, uh, I think the graph is missing. Okay, so let me, So let me just correct the graph because from the data which I have uh, copied, okay, the graph is seems to be missing. I will just correct the graph. Okay, so now the values are all visible. Okay. Alright, so uh, yeah, so the graph has been corrected now. Okay, so the graph was compressed, as a result the values were not visible. Okay, so now uh, like if we look at this value, these two people have scored same marks. So they are of different gender. Similarly, uh, is there any other pair? No, no other pair has same marks. Okay. Alright, so the first thing is let us note down these marks because that is crucial for us to 
solve uh, the data because like we cannot read the graph again and again so let's note down these values okay so this value is 30 uh, so 30 we have five lines in between so that means one line is equal to two this is 33 this is 40 this is 44 this is 42 okay this is the 26 and this is 40 uh, 8 this is 53 this is 33 okay. this is 46 and this value is 21 so these are the marks of these people right so these 10 people you have noted down the marks now what is given to us this out of these 5 are boys and 5 are girls ok so the total of boys is 198 who are the boys we do not know 198 do not try to find the combinations to add 198 okay if you try it you might get a lot of combinations so better than that let's use some other logic next thing is difference between the lowest so this is no two boys as well as no two girls code the same marks that means the 33 marks that is sashi and deepal are of different gender okay so sashi and deepal of different gender next thing is that is uh, quite important is this point second point when you are given such kind of information, the, the statement which cannot be directly understood, that is the statement that has the best logic in it. Okay, this is the first one, so everyone will understand, 5 by boys, total is 198. The mistake people commit is, they start solving using this condition. Most of the students in this question would try to find 5 values that add to 198 and hence end up screwing the set. It happens in all sort of, such sort of DILR problems, if you have see if some direct data is given like if i look at this 198 i know that there can be many possibilities right and that's a simple statement if that simple statement gives very simple information like we did the previous set in which china's gdp was uh, china's contribution to uh, agriculture was 1 trillion right so that was a straightforward one because 10 percent of uh, 10 trillion is 1 trillion so that we did simple data but easy to calculate but in this case, if you see, the data is not as simple, isn't it? Like if you try to add to 198, you can get multiple possibilities. So instead of that, look for a complicated statement, right, which is not as uh, easy to comprehend and start with it. So it says the difference between the lowest and highest scores obtained by boys was equal to the difference between the lowest and the highest score obtained by girls. Okay. So there will be a highest boy minus high lowest in boys that should be equal to highest in girls minus lowest in girls okay if you look at the highest value right highest value is 53 and the lowest value is 21 so agar aap ek hi mile loge, like if you see logically you cannot make this same because highest aapne ya le liya. now you cannot have a difference of 32 here okay but if you do get the second lowest, like if you take 26 and you take 21 here, like you take the highest here and the lowest other side. See, this is not boys, not girls, right? We cannot tell who is which category is boy, which category is girls. So we are just taking that one category as like let's call it category one, let's call it category two. So if we take this case right and then we take the second highest and second lowest this is the logic that we need to understand are we getting equal 27 and 27 why did we take the second highest and second lowest in the corresponding values because that difference is going to be the same okay that has to be the that needs to be done because if you take the highest and lowest on one side the difference will be the maximum it cannot be equal to any other difference you have the highest peak side area, lowest peak side area, that, that range is the maximum. So we need to look at the second best range. Second range would mean highest of these and the second lowest and second highest compared to second lowest, right? Now it means that this is one category and this is another category, right? Now do not categorize as boys or girls, we will find these categories. So one category has uh, these scores, 26. 53 another category has these scores 21 and 48 okay so four scores are done 
Now we see that no two boys as well as no two girls scored the same number of marks. So 33 and 33 will go to each of these categories. Which categories boys we will figure out very soon. Again. Now if we see this, this total is 79. Right, 79 plus 33, 112 and we need to make 198. So we need to make 86. We have to make these two as 86 so that this total becomes 198. Similarly, if you look at this category, this is 69 and 33, 102. So in order to make it 198, we need to make it 96. Now if you look at the values 40, 44, 42, 46. Can we, which category we can make? Can we make 96? No, we cannot make 96 using these four values. So this category is boys, this category is girls. Okay. Now how can we make 86? We can make 44 plus 42 or we can also make 40 plus 46. So we can have 44 and 42. That means 46 and 40 go here. And second scenario will be 46 and 40 and 44 and 42 go this side. So this total is 198 and this total is going to be 188. I mean that is not relevant to the girls total but we just calculated. Okay. So we will get two scenarios. We have figured out the boys, we have figured out the girls, right? which category is boys, which category is girls. However, we cannot determine all these people. We can just tell two people from each like for example, these two are boys, 26, Harpreet is a boy. Okay. Similarly, 53 that is uh, Chaitanya is a boy. Okay. Girls 21 and 48. So, uh, 21 Ashwini is a girl. 48 we have Gunjan as a girl. So, these are girls. Okay. 33, we can have both genders like Shashi and uh, Deepal we cannot figure out. And then these 44, 42, if they are, they are of the same gender, like we can say that 42, 44, same gender. Similarly, 40 and 46 are of same gender, okay, which we cannot determine, okay. So this is how we will solve this set. This can be partially solved and then we have to subsequently look at the questions and answer them. Achha, now the questions are... Uh, not about uh, answering the number of it is about answering the number of questions okay so it is even more difficult challenge about answering the number of questions correctly now that requires another set of logic okay now we had to categorize this because we have to find for boys and girls now let us understand this, there is 3 marks for a correct question and wrong answer as a penalty of 1 mark, ok. <clears throat> so 3 marks, let us do one thing, now for these values we will find out how many questions can be answered correctly okay? and maximum and minimum, ok maximum and minimum karte. how to do maximum mark? maximum attempts. So, <clears throat> understand this thing very carefully. If you are getting a multiple of 3 because correct marks is 3. So, you might end up saying that like this person answered 11 questions. But this is the minimum that the person is answering. Okay? How to find the maximum? So, let us understand maximum. So, suppose if a person attempts 20 questions. Agar 20 questions attempt kar okay. So, your score can be maximum 60 because if you get 20 correct, you are attempting 20 questions. So, let us understand how do we get this logic. If you get this logic, you can answer all these questions. So, if you attempt 19 correct and 1 incorrect, <coughs> what will happen? People will say that 3 marks come ho jayenge. But if you are a CAT aspirant and you have faced this before, you know that it is not 3, it is 4, quest, four marks. Because 19 will give you 57 marks and minus 1 that will become 56. So, if you attempt 18 correct and 2 incorrect, so you will get 54 minus 2 that is 52 marks. So, we see a difference of 4 marks. Okay. So, we will see a difference of 4, 48, 44 and so on. 
okay so if you are getting a multiple of 4 that means 20 questions means you can get a multiple of 4 if you attempt 19 questions max 19 questions 19 questions you get all correct you will get 57 okay if you get 18 and 1 you will get 53 so 49 45 and so on in case of 18 you can achieve 54 50 46 and so on in case of 17 you can achieve 51 47 43 and so on in case of 16 you can achieve 48 44 so that is again this category so there are four categories of marks right maximum attempts could be 20 19 18 or 17 so that could be the different categories okay now we need to have like correct attempts maximum correct attempts okay so minimum and maximum let us find out in all these cases so we figured out ki maximum kaise nikalna hai See, minimum is easy one so if we took it this is the max and then we will write the minimum also max 33 falls into which category so if you take 20 questions that is your score is 4n if you take 19 that is 4n plus 1 18 is 4n plus 2 and 17 is 4n plus 3 okay now this is 4n plus 1 so maximum this question person could have attempted 19 questions so i'll write this here max could be 19 attempts right 19 attempts means uh, now if you want to figure out that how can this person get 33 marks so if a person attempts 19 will uh, but yes that is also not necessary that a person can attempt 19 so you will have to logically think also like if 19 correct okay or uh, maximum 19 attempts ho sakte. that is the maximum number of attempts right correct kitne honge isme dekhne so for one question you lose 4 marks ok so you have lost 24 so that means 6 13 and uh, 13 is 39 and 6 incorrect so uh, we will find the maximum attempts like it can be 13 and 6 this is the range and the person is doing 40 ok so 40 means for one question you are losing 4 marks so 15 and 5 44 will fall into this category so it will be uh, like you have to lose 16 marks so 4 incorrect so 16 and 4 right 16 means 48 you lose 4 marks 42 will fall into this category so 18 gives you 54 you have to go to 42 so 3 times less uh, so 3 incorrect and 15 correct okay maximum attempts 26 falls into this category so 26 means uh, you will have uh, 28 that is 7 incorrect so 11 correct and 7 incorrect 48 means uh, you will fall into this category so 3 incorrect and 17 correct then 33 falls into this category 13 and 6 53 falls in 53 falls in this category so we can have 18 and 1 and then 46 falls into this category 18 is uh, 54 and 2 incorrect so 16 and 2 and last one is 21 21 will fall into this category so 19 uh, gives you 57 and 36 less that is 9 incorrect so 9 incorrect and 10 correct okay so that is how we get the maximum attempts now we will look at the minimum attempts also okay so minimum attempts if we look at now if a person has to get 33 marks so it should be 11 attempts correct 40 means <clears throat> you have to get 42 first so 14 correct and 2 incorrect 44 means you correct 15 correct 45 minus 1 42 is 14 0 26 is 9 1 27 minus 1 48 is all 16 correct okay 
थर्टी थ्री इज ऑल इलेवन करेक्ट फिफ्टी थ्री इज एटीन करेक्ट एंड वन इन करेक्ट देर इज ओनली वन वे टू गेट फिफ्टी थ्री मार्क्स ओके फोर्टी सिक्स मीन्स यू हैव टू डू सिक्सटीन करेक्ट एटलीस्ट सो देर इज ओनली वन वे हेयर ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी वन यू गेट सेवन करेक्ट एंड नो इन करेक्ट सो दिस इज द मैक्सिम एंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ अटेम्प फॉर ऑल दीज पीपल ओके नाउ लेट एस आंसर द क्वेश्चन इट सेज एट मोस्ट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन वर आंसर्ड करेक्टली बाय द बॉयज ओके सो देर आर देर आर दीज पीपल हु हैव गॉट लाइक हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन वर आंसर्ड करेक्टली बाय द बॉयज नाउ करेक्टली बाय द बॉयज वी विल हैव टू फाइंड दीज पीपल ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज अ बॉय सो वी विल अंडरलाइन द वैल्यूज ओके सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स is this one so we can have 11 here okay and then we have uh, then we have 53 was a boy so 53 we get 18 then 33 is one of the boys so we can take any of these 13 right so uh, let's write these values so 26 can answer maximum 11 correct 53 can answer 18 correct 33 can answer maximum 13 correct now we have like 44 and 42 or 40 and 46 so 44 wala can 46 wala can have 16 okay 40 uh, the person with 40 can have 15 okay so we can keep this or this category so we'll have to see which one we have to keep 42 person can get 15 correct and 44 can get 16 so no matter which which case you take 31 is there total right maximum correct till 31 and this is these three so uh, this is 29 42 42 if you take any of these that is 31 so total is 73 now this is a question that it is not worth attempting in the examination because first of all you have to find the boys and girls and then answer such questions <coughs> now at most how many girls could have attempted all the 20 questions now how many people can attempt 20 questions so 20 questions is this one okay then we can have this one so basically a multiple of 4 is 20 questions so we can see that this is multiple of 4 this is multiple of 4 okay then this is multiple of 4 so 20 questions so we have three people who could get 20 questions right three people who can get 20 questions so 48 is definitely one of them now if we look at like either 44 40 will come here like 44 42 or 44 or 40 or 46 so only one of these will fit in right both cannot be fit in because either this will be the case or this will be the case so one girl is sure and another we can have two girls we can have so it should not be at most it should be how many girls could have attempted all the 20 questions so that is two okay if one of the girls attempted exactly 14 questions who among the following is definitely a boy now that means we will have to determine 14 questions so 14 questions is uh, like that means basically we need to deal with these four people so 14 questions if we look at uh, this is the only possible one harpreet can make 14 questions right because 42 44 cannot have 14 questions 40 cannot have 14 questions 46 cannot have 14 questions so only harpreet could be that person uh, sorry this 42 is kanak so kanak is that 42 is this is a girl okay so this has to be a girl these two are boys so 40 and 46 mark scorers are boys so bhanu is a boy and rajini is a boy so that means rajini has to be a boy okay so that's what we get because 14 questions can only be attempted by kanak so kanak has to be a girl so if these are girls these have to be boys so the ones scoring 40 and 46 marks are the boys so rajini is a boy for men how many of these 10 students is it possible to determine the exact value of the number of questions answered correctly by them so this is uh, the easiest of the questions of this set 
So if you look at the correct uh, right attempt, so wherein maximum and minimum is the same. So we can find for Bhanu because we are getting one unique value and this person. So for only two people, we can find the unique number, we can exactly find the number of questions answered correctly by them. For rest of them, we cannot determine. So this was a quite a challenging set, uh, but I hope uh, you found this uh, solution uh, clear enough how to attempt this set in the, uh, like how to attempt this set. Ideally in an examination scenario, this should have been skipped, but yes, if you are uh, going for practice, then you should learn how to attempt such uh, data heavy and logic heavy set. So it was both data heavy as well as logic heavy. First of all, this data and this logic. So it, it could be one of those difficult sets that you get in the examination and skip it altogether. So in case you are preparing for CAT and other MB entrance tests, so we have launched our test series. Uh, for CAT, we will be providing 15 full length plus 10 sectional tests and for OMEDs, we will be providing mocks for different examinations. We shall launch these mocks when the examinations are announced. So if you wish to enroll in this test packages, uh, you can buy them from our portal and if you use the code HOT, you can get 20% off till the end of this month. And I have a channel by the name Aptitude Jab which has close to 400 sets and even more will be uploaded in the due course of time. So in case you want to practice more DILR sets, you can just subscribe to my channel and like you can search, like if you are using uh, the browser, you can search here, there is a search button, you can search for that specific type, like if you want to uh, solve logical DI, so you can search for logical DI, if you want to solve for games and tournaments, search games here. If you want to solve for pie chart, like jo bhi aapko search karna hai, pie, aapko games and tournament search karna hai. So you will get, because the, uh, the nomenclature has been made such that you can get the category of the set. Like if you want to solve, uh, let's say binary logic, you can search binary. If you want to solve cube, so you can search it topic wise and get sets of your choice. And if you want to get the PDF of this class, please do uh, join my telegram group. You will get the PDF of these videos. So this was day 22, in fact, a very hot one. You can see me all sweating in front of this ring light. So I am sure you are enjoying this these sessions thus far. So eight more sessions to go and please do watch all these 30 videos and recommend it to your friends as well. I'm pretty sure that if you have watched these 30, that would have uh, given you quite a boost for your CAT preparation and you are bound to succeed in one and more examinations. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.